Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I am in Clearwater now, not near the water, but uh, in the city limits of Clearwater. And I'm in a parking lot, and I've got just a few pieces of equipment on the van. I have water and power. That's how I do it. Most of everything I do is a rinseless wash. I rarely ever do a traditional wash, uh, and that, that's with boats and everything else. So we have everything we need as far as water and power. All the detailing equipment is inside the van. Let me just show you what we're working on today. So I'll be applying the plastic and rubber hydrate from the Marine series. The, the process on the spark, since it's all plastic, is going to be wiped down with the Marine series uh, heavy duty all-in-one vessel cleaner and that'll clean all the dirt out of the plastic and prep it for the plastic and rubber hydrate for the from the marine series after plastic and rubber hydrate i offer the option to give the the same three-year warranty that i give on the cm tech or the gel coated slash painted skis um, when i put universal coating right on top of that uh, plastic and rubber hydrate so this is going to get coated so will that GTX. Um, that's a great ski. In my opinion, that's the best ski on the planet right now. Uh, my, my preference would be the, uh, the new 170. That one's a 230, so it's a supercharged ski. Nothing wrong with that. If you need the power, if you feel like you just have to have that power, nothing wrong with getting a GTX uh, 230 or 300. I had a 300, it was awesome. Uh, but if I had to do it all over again, that hull is amazing. That's the ST3 hull. Uh, it's far more stable than any other hull prior to that. The audio system is awesome. Uh, and then, uh, like I said, the 170 is more than enough power because the 155 I had on my uh, 2019 Fish Pro was plenty. And the Fish Pro is this hull, but with the extra extension and a little bit extra weight. Um, and that 155 was great. So the 170 I'm sure will be awesome. I have not uh, ridden one yet. So anyway, that's going to get cleaned, polished, prepped, uh, and then coated with the uh, Marine Series Ceram Acrylics Pro Hybrid Coating. We'll be doing the same thing to this truck, but I will not be polishing the truck. I'm going to clean it, prep it, and coat it, and then we'll be doing the, uh, the interior as well. Nothing super fancy. It's not nasty. It just is generally dirty, and uh, we'll get all that knocked out, no problem. It's got nice wheels on it. I'll be coating those. They're dirty. Got some bug debris and that kind of thing. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm probably going to knock the truck out first while my wife Tony gets started on the skis and I'm gonna go ahead and get the van unloaded and get everything ready to go so we can get these things knocked out and move on to the next one all right all done didn't waste any time shooting between videos it's just not that day so this uh, 2018 Silverado got the one system package minus the universal all-in-one polish um, it's it's not horribly swirled up but it definitely has some swirls but uh, I built him a package where he got the coating and solid prep service uh, and uh, he's happy so wash clay bar then I use universal clean and prep to wipe everything down and prime for the coating then the coating went on all exterior surfaces glass black plastic trim. Uh, I did use uh, plastic and rubber hydrate for my marine series. Then I put universal coating over top of that on all the trim. Um, the tires are dressed with transform dressing diluted 50-50 uh, with water. I also sprayed the trans, uh, transform dressing all inside on the suspension components to make those look spectacular. Um, I hit the Nerf bars with the uh, plastic and rubber hydrate and universal coating. I did a basic interior. No need to really open that up. I vacuumed it all out, wiped it all down, 
clean the uh, leather with universal clean and prep and then I hit it with the um, really really diluted transform dressing so one part product uh, I want to say seven parts water so I got all the love bugs and crap off the front it looks awesome and then like I said at the end I applied my ceramic acrylics pro hybrid coating the five-year deal all the wheel faces all the paint the glass got all of that so looks awesome on these this was all one big job I got a 2019 Sudo Spark and a 2019 GTX 230 the 2019 that's a super cool ski as I stated before this is my favorite hole the ST3 hole super wide super stable it's awesome so the spark got wiped down really really heavily and well with the heavy duty all-in-one vessel cleaner from the marine series and then after that uh, we applied plastic and rubber hydrate from the marine series all over it we did three coats uh, we buffed off the excess and then universal coating went on every exterior surface of that spark so that's the full three-year deal on that one. And then on this one, we did the universal clean and prep wipe down. We used the uh, plastic and rubber hydrate on all the plastic trim, the bumpers and that kind of thing, the sponsons, uh, the speaker system. Uh, and then universal coating went on top of that. And then we use universal all-in-one to machine polish all of the CM Tech material, which is the acrylic overlay on top of that gel coat and all of the non-porous plastic um, and then we use the marine series ceramic acrylics pro hybrid coating the three-year coating on this it looks spectacular this spark wasn't horrible when we started but it definitely was starting to uh, fade out in the sun and basically just the sun just draws all the moisture out of the plastic and makes it look like crap you lose all your color and so what we did on the vinyl seats is we used my vinyl mold and mildew cleaner uh, they weren't bad and then we used the marine series the marine series vinyl mold and mildew cleaner and then we used the marine series uh, vinyl protectant which is weather resistant it's awesome stays on uh, your pants or your swim trunks or whatever aren't going to take it off it penetrates into the vinyl leaves it very elastic and just feeling really soft um, and it helps to retain that elasticity um, keeping it well potentially keeping it from cracking and and splitting and that kind of thing so but that's it sea do spark sea do gtx 230 and a 2018 Silverado done deal. Let's see if we can't get a, a view of all of them. There we go, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me babble and watch these videos. If you got questions for me, 813-846-4406. I'm always available to help you in your detailing endeavors. Check out detailjuice.com for all my products and information about that. But if you really want to be a step above the industry and detailing, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, what I've got going on. So I show you in length what happened today, um, how you use the products. You get special deals and promos that I don't advertise to the public. Uh, that group gets all access to that kind of stuff. So uh, this has been... A fun one to work on, just uh, I like a variety. Uh, good challenge is always accepted by me, and that's where we're at. So I got everything done. Uh, Tony and I knocked them out in about four hours. We got everything done, so nothing wrong with that. The not having to machine polish this truck really saved a lot of time, so. All right, guys, 
Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Again, if I can help you in your detailing endeavors, 813-846-4406. Have a great day, guys.